Harvey Norman. Good opening rains and bumper beef prices have buoyed cattle stations in the state's far north. Seven News has taken to the skies to witness the cooperation between pilots and drovers on motorbikes to bring the mob to market. A land of big hats and even bigger beasts. Next time you whack a steak on the barbie, spare a thought for crews like this working throughout the country because without them you would not be eating, in this case, prime South Aussie beef. This is Wultana Station, east of Arkarula, and by late in the day, it doesn't get any more outback than this. For station boss Peter Moroni, it's been a good day. Drafting the heifers off of the steers, and the smaller steers, anything we think's heavy enough, go in there to be weighed, anything over 380 kilos, goes on a truck to the feedlot. Pretty good, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're pretty happy, yeah. A thousand mainly Black Angus cattle in this mob, and they're looking a treat. How long have you been doing this, Peter? Well, all my life. Yeah? Yeah, forever. <laughs> <laughs> you love it? I don't know any different. Is it hard yakka? Oh, not really. No different than anything else. You reckon? <laughs> no, that's all right. Looks like hard Cold, work. cold in the morning. <laughs> A man of understatement as the campfire warms the bones of drovers who've swagged it overnight. Morning means the same routine for everyone, including Annie Harvey, a newbie to this mustering caper. Yeah, she's been with us since the start of the muster and. Uh, really keen, um, good cook too, that's handy. <laughs> At first light they're off and so too is their man in the sky, Ian Farger from Angarichina Station. Directing every every move that happens. So you're the eye in the sky so to speak? Yeah, start. yeah. It's not about office is it? An office like no other, with cattle tucked away in creek beds running down from the awesome gammon ranges. Good early rains have provided plenty of feed at a time when competitors are doing it tough. The price is unbelievable really, like, and the outlook for cattle at this stage is really good. Droughts, lack of cattle, Queensland's been droughted out as you probably know, um, and America's been through big droughts, um, cows over there making over $4,000 they say. All the more reason to bring them in, as Ian dives on their whereabouts, pinpointing their location. Fattening up cattle in country like this is one thing, finding them is yet another. Hey, yeah, head officer towards North Mulga. Watch us along the road, the one you've been on. Yeah, OK, copy that. We'll uh, get the mob moving. And they do, with trail bikes, so very different to the early days, without radios and modern technology. We'd fold the note up and put it in a tobacco tin and throw it out the window to the bloke on the horse. They're not all blokes now, but regardless of gender, it's the same reward come knock-off time. You definitely feel like you earned your beer by the end of the day. Ron Candelars, 7 News. What a life. New figures 